Hey YouTube, what's up today? Today, we're getting back on the RX-7. We're gonna start finishing up some brake lines on the front suspension, see if we can't get some rims put in place, and uh, see how far we can make it. So stick around, watch the intro, go smash that subscribe button, and we'll be right back. Thanks for sticking around everybody. Today, we're getting back on the RX-7 as I said. We have some new brake lines. These ones, this one here, it's a, stain, a braided stainless steel line. Some nice steel fittings on the end. It was a complete set. I got it off a guy from uh, off Facebook, Raymond Chan. His uh, info will be down in the description so you can click to them. They're made by Apex Brakes. I think the website is apexbrakes.com. I'm not sponsored on this. I just bought them, looked at them. They seem to be quite nice so far. So we're going to get started on taking out the old ones. So, to get started, down by the wheel well is where we have our first one. So I gotta go grab the wrench, see if we can't get that out of there without breaking it. But I doubt it. It's probably gonna break quite nicely on me. So I see a lot of brake work coming. But then that there will go straight off of this into here, up and around, and up into that spot right there. So I'm gonna go grab a wrench or two, see if we can't get this going. I'll be right back. Alright, as expected, I wasn't able to get that brake fitting off. It's only been there for 30 years, 40 years, something like that. So as expected, it didn't come off. So now you just gotta pop off that little spacer clip there. See if I can see if that winch is out of there nicely. There we go. Just like that. And now, the old brake caliper with hose. Leave us with this nice little open spot here. Let's get that wiped up. Cleaned up a little bit there. I'm making sure to have lots of rags with me because I'm using uh, some anti seize compound on this stuff. And we all know what that does. I'll be silver by the end of the day from using just a couple little drops of it but uh, I'm gonna go put the the clip in we'll be right back and uh, show you what we have alrighty and there we have it the passenger side is done as you can see I've got the threader I got that end into the brake caliper with some brakes anti -seize goes up to here we got that locked in place and it goes up into the body which then goes to this side here which has a new brake clip as well I just got to cover that hole cover the brake line so that way nothing falls down inside of it so I'm gonna turn around I'm gonna go start on the other side and uh, keep going from there. If it stops raining, I'll finally be able to get the rim sandblasted and hopefully powder coated. But until the rain stops, kind of, kind of limited on what I can do. So I'm gonna go start the passenger side. We'll be back. All right. Here's another view of uh, how these are. This is the driver's side, and you can see it has a nice. Solid, solid 
uh, steel end on it. And like I said, I did put any C's in there for if I ever have to take them apart. And they follow right up to the, the mount for where the hose goes. And then up through the, through the body of the car. And just like the other side, the hose didn't come out of the fitting as expected. So that means now I've got to replace that brake line and repair the other one. But that was minor. I was kind of expecting that anyway. So it'll give me a chance to have all new brake lines all through the entire car. So that'll be that'll be a bonus. New brake fluid because I don't know how old this stuff is. Actually, I'm looking at the the reservoir now, and the reservoir took some damage in the fire. You can see the the cap is kind of melted up, and the edge of the the reservoir is a bit melted as well. So it's not a not anything too major, but. It's enough to keep me from taking the cover off. So we'll have to we'll have to see about replacing the reservoir as well. Going to the the proportioning valve looks good. So we should be good from there forward, but who knows? We'll see what happens. In the meantime, I'm gonna go get a couple more clips. See if I cannot get rained on and uh finish up this side so we'll be right back all right here we go we're back we've finished off the brake lines as you can see tucked way down there the driver's side is done i got a yellow yellow silicone plug in there just to keep the dirt and crap out the driver's side comes down goes in there so now we just gotta get something on here Get the rest of the bolts put in, get a brake rotor or two on there, some bearings, and then some rims and we can get the front end lowered down. And then we can start working on the back, which I don't know if I've shown the back yet to you guys. But it's also in need of some work. I'm going to be powder coating the rear housing, the control arms. Uh, we'll be dropping the gas tank, redoing the fuel lines, fuel system, getting it ready for running again, and see what else we can do. So stick around. We got some more on the go. I'm going to keep this video going, and uh, hopefully by the end of it, we'll have some rims on here. So stick around. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. We're continuing on with the RX-7 here still. We are doing some brake work today. We got brake line all figured out. If you saw in the last video, we were putting the brake lines in, getting the shocks mounted. Now we're going to finish up on some of the hard lines that I had to replace. I've gone I wanted to try and recreate as much of the original as possible. So we got the loop in there. It's all bent up to match. We got the fittings here for the 3 16 line. So now we're going to put some flares into them. And hopefully I don't forget to put the, the fitting on before I make the flare. As I'm sure many of us have done in the past. So I'm going to get things set up here. And... Uh, Show you how we're gonna make these flares. Be right back. All right, here we go. Okay, so ignore my nice, wonderful mess I have here, but uh, as you can see, I've got the, the brake line all set, heights adjusted. So now it's just a matter of tightening down this press here. And then it goes down only so far because it'll fetch up against the block itself. 
Then we take out this little adapter right here, which is also used as a spacer. You can see how it has a step on it. The pipe comes out of the block and hits that step, and that's, that's the depth that you put it. And that gives you just a single flare. Where it's brake lines, we're doing a double flare on these ones. So now we just take, I'm not sure the name of this tool, the press, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to snug it down, which pushes the inside of that flare down to create the double, double flare. Snug it up a little bit. That's all you need. You don't need to go humming tight. You don't need an impact gun. And that should give me a decent double flare fitting for the, for the brake line. And for those of you who are about to ask, yes, I did remember to put the thread fitting on there. So now, that just goes right like that, fits in there, and that one's ready to be put into the RX-7. That's going on the booster side. So now we've got the other side to do, which will go to the new brake line that we have. Throw some anti-seas on them, snug them down, and move to the passenger side. So I'm not going to bore you anymore. I'm going to get this done, and we're going to go to the car and show you what we do there. Sit around, go hit that subscribe button while you're waiting, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. We set that right there for right now. We're at the, we're in the car now. We're outside it anyway. Getting ready to put the anti C's on. These brake line fittings. So if I ever have to worry about taking them apart, hopefully they'll come apart without any major issues. Hopefully. And just like every other time you use uh, anti-seize, don't be surprised if the screen goes gray, completely covered, all that good stuff. So. I'm going to line this up down here. I'm going to try and do this with one hand, show you what I'm doing at the same time. I'm waiting for something to go fly in, but hey, that's what we're here for, right? Watch me mess up. At the bottom of the brake booster, there is a fitting. That's where this sand is going. And then, I had already installed previously, but we have our new brake line fitting right over here, which that there is going to go right down in there like that. And maneuver the brake line a little bit around just to get it out of the way of things. And that one's installed. I just gotta go get the wrench to tighten everything down. But that is the first brake line that we're gonna put in. The second one is on the passenger side. It's quite a bit longer, so there's gonna be a little bit more to it. But uh, we'll get that one done up here too. And hopefully that'll give us some front brakes. So stick around. I'm going to go get the wrench, finish tightening down this brake line, and uh, we'll start measuring out for the, the passenger side. So here we go. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. I just took the passenger side brake line off. End up having to come off in two pieces. I'm hoping I can get it back in there uh, in one piece. But uh, that kind of goes like that. And then that connects up there and goes out to where the, the brake line would be. 
So I'm gonna get started on bending this up, show you what we do as we go, and uh, hopefully I can get a new brake line back on there and be that much closer to having brakes. So here we go, stick around. Okay, we just finished putting that brake line in. You can see I've got passenger side here. It runs along the factory clips. Goes up on the factory firewall, just like the factory one did. It goes over into our distribution. So now, all I gotta do is get some anti C's on them, tighten everything down, and we'll be good for that. That'll be another step of this car done. I know the lighting's not the greatest. It's kind of dark in here, but uh, hopefully that'll change here as I keep going. But for now, I gotta work with it. So I'm gonna go put some anti C's on and probably become a silver man after that. Because we all know how anti C's gets everywhere. So I'm going to uh, go try my luck. Hopefully it doesn't... Uh, Hopefully I don't end up looking like a tin man here, and we'll show you the end result. Stick around. Alright, thanks for sticking around. Just a quick recap. We have the brake line on the driver's side redone. As you can see, it goes through, comes up on the bottom of the brake booster. And then we have our new brake line, which follows the factory clamps, mounts, lines, everything. Goes over and goes to the passenger side brakes. So now I can say that I got front brakes. New clips, new fittings, new lines. However, we are still missing something. Bunch of somethings. Hopefully, soon we'll get some brake rotors in there get the brake pads put in and get the wheels put on so once we're done that we'll be able to put the front on the ground and start working on the back so stick around you can see the new brake lines there the nice new powder coated shocks so I'm going to uh, continue on and hopefully I can get the rims done up here and finish off this video with those all depends on what the weather does, but uh, it's been good the last couple days, so I'm expecting it to completely downpour on us here shortly. I also didn't get very much uh, anti seize on me. I was actually quite impressed. So, that's a win. So here we go. I'm going to continue on. So stick around, and we'll see what happens. Hey YouTube, how's it going? We're continuing on with the RX-7 today. I love new parts days. We have just fresh off the truck. We have a nice brand new set of brake rotors. We're gonna get these prepped, ready to go in the car. Yeah. Got some motion sickness in there for you. And here we go. One brand new pretty brake rotor. And to go in there, we have some wheel bearings. So we're going to tap them in, get some new races put into them, and uh, get this ready so we can put it in the car. So stick around. Watch me hopefully not hit my fingers. Alright, so here we are. We got our two bearing races out for our wheel bearings. Uh, these are from Napa. We have one of them is a part number BR1 which is the outer wheel bearing and then we have the other one which is BR32 which is our inner bearing. So we're going to put these races in and uh, see if we can't get this one step closer to uh, being ready to go in, in the car.
Now I don't have a, a bearing uh, seat driver. Kind of wish I did, but one trick I've been known to do in the past is if you have the old bearing race and it's still in good condition, you pop it out because it's the same size as what's going in and you can use that to tap it in and seat it in place. You will notice a difference in the, the sound of it when it does bottom out. But that one's now seated in there. So now we move on to the back one. Same deal. Get it lined up so it's fairly straight. Put this is off the inner race as well. I do have a much larger socket for that. It's 36 millimeter. Fits on there nice. And again, once it gets set down in there, you will hear a much different tone. It'll have a much more of a solid ting instead of a hollow ting. And there's our races already installed, ready to go. So now we'll pack the grease into the bearings. They're just your basic taper fit bearing. Now they sit right there like that. I got the dust seal to go in there as well. And uh, then we can put the brake rotors on, put the brakes together. Leave the front brakes, and hopefully I'll be done at the front, for now anyway. Then we'll get on to the back. So we're going to go to the shop, out where it is, and uh, get back to work on it. Stick around. Alright, so here we are continuing on with the RX-7. We are getting ready to put some color on to uh, the rest of the rims for it. As you saw, we've already got the centers done. But now we got to do the barrels and the front lips because these are a three-piece rim. So I just got a mask off here because that's where everything seals together. Once it's sealed together, there'll be a nice bead of silicone around the edge here, and uh, we can get some tires put on it and hopefully get the front of the car back on the ground so I can work on the back end and get that put back together. Got a lot left I'm going to do on there. Fuel pump, powder coat the rear axle housing, powder coat all the control arms once I get some new ones. And the uh, list kind of keeps just getting longer and longer. So, in the meantime, sit back, hit that subscribe button, and uh, watch me do some masking. There we go, just like that. It almost looks like I was working quick, but uh, I've got it so kind of, the tape curls around the edge here a little bit to where the surface for the, the silicone is gonna go. If you're wondering why you keep seeing me scrubbing it back and forth like this, this blue tape, it's uh, pressure sensitive. So you wanna make sure to push it down make sure it's you can see where it goes from stuck to not stuck I don't know how well it's gonna show but you can kind of see a spot right here it's a lighter blue if I go along and make sure it's pushed down now it's a darker blue matches the rest of it and you don't see where it's lifted up at all so with that 
So we're going to take our nice little hook, dab it through the rim. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but hey, there we go. And just like that, it goes right there into the valve stem hole. We are ready to throw this in the oven and get some color on it. So stick around, because you know what I'm about to do. Alright, thanks for sticking around everybody. As you see, we are starting to continue on with the rims from our RX-7. Hopefully, uh, <clears throat> hopefully get them done here shortly. I'm waiting on a couple more bolts before I can be able to bolt everything together. In the meantime though, I have powder coated the front lips. As you can see, the nice silver metallic. Now that's just the just the powder itself. We're getting ready to uh, drop a, a nice high gloss clear onto it to give it a little more protection and uh, make it shine a little bit better. So I'm going to get doing that. We'll show you the end results of these. And then we have the back of the rims to put in and get them coated. But I gotta, I'm going to wait till I get the rest of the bolts and get them sandblasted. That way I can put everything in at once and uh, finish them up, get them put together, and let you see what the end result will be. Let me know what you think of it. Till then, I'm going to get back to spraying some powder and uh, show you what we get. So there you have it everyone. The rims for the RX-7 are done. Now I just gotta turn around, get some rubber put on them. I've still gotta put the, the silicone around the two halves of the rim, but uh, that's nothing major. Get that put on just as I'm getting ready to put the rubber on them. Then after that's done, I got some dirty old boxes here. To, uh, I got brake rotors. I got a box that wants to be a pain to open here. There we are. Brand new brake booster. And then we'll have the whole front brake system put back together. Rims the back on the car with some tires. And I can put the front on the ground and work on the back and get hopefully get that put back together soon. Because I got a lot to do on that as well. So if you want to see more of it, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think of the rims. Drop a like, drop a comment, stick around for more. And until next time, stay warm, keep it loud.